Um, this is, I made fun of this guy very briefly. I'm not sure if I want to play all of it. Actually, because what this is, no, I played the original clip. This is his reaction to it. This guy is Kurt. He's on Civil Law. He's on stream with Rakeda. And um, he's expressing his frustrations with what Rakeda did to him on stream. Um, and then and so I want to I want to kind of like play and, and talk about his reaction to it because the gist of what happened actually will be summarized by the video. We'll just play it. And then also, I got a little pissed on a, on a different level because he made a comment which I thought had fairly obvious racial connotations that were inappropriate. Ancient Egyptian police used to train attack baboons to chase down fleeing criminals. Don't talk about Michelle Obama that way. Michael Trump. Ow, why? Wait, what did you think I was talking about? All right, Kurt, now I'm curious. There are three nouns in that sentence. Which one of them is Michelle Obama? You know perfectly well from the juxtaposition. No, no, no. I made the juxtaposition so I know perfectly well. But not from the juxtaposition, but because I made it. Which one is it to you, Kurt? Which one of the three nouns? Let me remind you of the three nouns. Ancient Egyptian police, attack baboons, fleeing criminals. Which one of those three is Michelle Obama? Oh, my God. And I made a point of saying it's inappropriate. You're the one who was disgusted by my analogy, or by my, not even analogy, my inference. What is it? What, my juxtaposition. Which? So this guy is way too smart for Rakeda, because he's obviously trying to bait him into saying that Michelle Obama is an attack baboon, so that he can say, "Oh, that's racist." Tee he, because even if he, even if he says, "I don't think that Michelle Obama is an attack baboon." He can then go, but I didn't say she was the attack baboons. She was actually the pharaoh or whatever. You know, it's like so, so transparent. It's like when you have grease on a piece of paper and you can see right through it. Like, you're not clever, <laughs> especially not when you're trying to talk to like a real lawyer who like deals with people trying to fuck with heads and, and, and be clever all the time in their filings. Like you get trained to see through what people's intentions are, I suppose. A reasonable a person, a reasonable Kurt person could think that you're referring to any of the three because so, any of the three could reasonably read onto it. But Kurt, you, he, he, by the way, to show you how he's, it's kind of hard to to make him sound like he feels threatened based on how he responds. That is definitely like a defensive posture because the language he's using is legal. A reasonable person could have inferred. Well, there's an obvious inference to make that Michelle Obama is the attack baboons because that's the only one that makes sense and it makes sense in a racist way. Um, but he's using the very carefully constructed uh, legal terminology to give himself as much leeway as possible. But Rakeda thinks he's smarter than him. This is like a game of chess, basically. It's like verbal chess. And Rakeda thinks that he's made this extremely stupendous play. He set up the chessboard exactly how he wants to. And he, he has checkmate in three moves. And unfortunately for him, he's completely fucking wrong. And Kurt sees through his bullshit like a, like a, like a transparent tarp. You were appalled. So which one did you read into it? Some of those are particularly offensive. And because a reasonable person could find some of them particularly offensive, and because your juxtaposition allows for that inference, I found it offensive. And then he's like, what is inappropriate about it? And I was fairly confident that he was trying to get, he was trying to bait me into saying a particular phrase so that the words would come from my mouth and he could make fun of it. And I didn't really appreciate it. But what offended you? I'm um, sorry, I have paused my recording because I currently have zero kilobits per second. Sorry, I'm giving a, a second just to catch up.
20 subs for the internet goal. Oh my god. I don't know if we're going to hit that yet. Okay, it's back up again. It's green bandwidth. Um, let me try changing one more thing, and then I'll start playing it again. Sorry. I know this is very annoying. It's extremely frustrating for me, too. Cool. Okay, I'm pausing the recording, and more Kurt. About it. I don't think comparing... You know perfectly well. I'm not I'm not having this discussion. <laughs> I should have just he honestly at this point, if you're gonna be if you feel like this guy is being so hostile and so like because he's like obviously I think he's like a real lawyer, so he's like afraid of this actually impacting him. Like he should just leave at that point. He should just say, I'm not gonna sit here and, and deal with this shit when I see what you're doing clear as day. We'll make you say it we'll make you say it i was obviously not talking about whatever offensive thing you were with michelle obama um microsoft's image search i don't know if you remember uh with leslie jones might beg to differ but me i was making the most innocent comparison i was comparing michelle obama to yeah, the, the ancient egyptian were. police i was like i know what you're doing you want me to say this particular phrase so you can be like, oh my God, I can't believe how racist you are. I'm like, dude, stop trying to bait me. You know exactly what we're talking about. And then he feigns this ignorance that he doesn't know what I'm talking about. You, have, you absolutely know exactly what I'm talking about. Wait, do you think I think Michelle Obama's an attack baboon? Again, you're the one who made the comparison with the, with the set that refers to her by the juxtaposition of the three elements. You're arguably comparing Michelle Obama to all three of them by the juxtaposition. No, she's literally the police. She was the authority, Kurt. She was the authority training the baboons. Mm -hmm. She pulled the... This mind. guy is great. Because his reaction to Rikita's shitty jokes is not to, like, try and laugh it off or get past it as quickly as possible or to pity laugh at it. It's always just, like, to make it as uncomfortable and as grueling as possible. And Rikita seems to have this issue where he is completely and totally incapable of letting a bad joke just bomb and then get out of the way. He just, like, keeps waiting for it to click or to or for for the pity laugh to be given like maybe he's learned that if you just press the joke enough the guy will go ha 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 and then that will be like then you'll be like ah, i made you laugh i got you oh you thought you weren't gonna laugh at my shitty joke but i got you like that's just what he's always experienced trying to do his stand-up routine with like his family but then he deals with kurt who is a lawyer and who knows how to like present himself in a way to like accomplish certain ends. And he's just like not going to do that. He's not going to budge. So he just gets fucking bullied by this guy. And so like, and it, it was not fun. It was not fun. Cause he's like, well, what, what about it is a problem. And I'm like, you know what the problem is? It's like, well, what are these? I compared, I compared Mich Michelle Obama to these three things, which, which one of them is racist? I'm like, you know exactly what the problem is. Don't pretend you don't know what the problem is. This is stupid. I'm not saying the words. You idiot. It sometimes does, and it's not like just a me thing, because he does it not infrequently on his show. He spends the first hour or more talking about things that are not what the show was built for. Like, because he'll have the subjects that he's going to talk about, like in his title. He'll tell you what he well, did, was, um, did Rikeda ask, um, Shooter Kid, what's his name? Ribbentrop, Molotov, Ribbon, Ribbon Pact. God, oh my God, my brain is melting out of my ears. I played, I've read too many Wikipedia articles about World War II. I no longer know how to form sentences that don't involve, uh, angry German names. What the fuck is his name? Is Kurt gay? I don't know. <laughs> he might be a little bit gay. What the fuck is that kid's name? 
<laughs> Rittenhouse. Thank you. When Rittenhouse was on his show, did he not ask Rittenhouse if um if he preferred his fuda with balls or with a vagina, like a cock and a vagina? Did he ask that question to to Ribbentrop? Or did he, or Rittenhouse, or did he, did he, like, spare him that question? Because that's, that's like his uncomfortable question that he seems to ask everybody. At his peak, I remember he even had, like, a woman running for attorney general in, like, Texas or Utah or something, like, get on his show. And he also asked her if he preferred Fudo with the balls or with the vagina. He did ask Rittenhouse about the, the Fuda. Okay, great. Wonderful. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't insane and that happened. <laughs> he seems to really enjoy making people uncomfortable by asking them totally inappropriate questions that, that, um, are like, that are like, not, not something that person would enjoy being asked as like a joke. He's going to talk about, but then for the first hour, he doesn't talk about any of those things. But it's very frustrating when, when I'm on as a guest to, to talk about those things. And I'm fighting sleep. Because I get up, you know, at a reasonable hour, and I'm fighting sleep. He's, Riccade is trying to do his stand-up bit, and he's there to talk about, like, a Supreme Court verdict. And he's literally, like, nodding off on the show, because Riccade won't shut the fuck up and get to the point. And so I was like... I was annoyed. But, once again, so that I am not misunderstood, I still consider Nick to be my friend. I just didn't particularly appreciate the way that he interacted with me on that particular occasion. But, you know, it'll take have more than one thing for me to be like... ran out of disk anymore, space. You know? How is that even possible? It just didn't, I just don't think it went particularly well. So. This is bullshit. I love Kurt. He's great in his uh, in his way, and when I get him on the show, I just I just want to talk to him about regular stuff. Like I really want to talk to him about constitutional issues because that's what he's so good at. But I really want to talk to him about regular stuff because he's so interesting. His perspective is so wildly different than mine on all these things, and his answers always make me happy. Uh, we wish Kurt has uh, Kurt a million dollars. I hope he makes two million dollars. Oh, I just fucked up. I just pressed the power button on my laptop trying to find the delete button. I don't know. It might just shut out start closing applications. Is there there's like a Windows command to abort a shutdown, correct? <laughs> uh. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.